Hi. Hi, this is Shiva from Evolve. Standing next to me is a 185 kilowatt string inverter from Huawei. We'll be talking about this inverter in this video. Starting with the physical properties of the inverter, the inverter is almost a meter wide, 700 mm in its height and almost 350 mm in its depth. The inverter is white in color, very light and it does not attract any sunlight so it doesn't cook itself from the sunlight. You can install it easily outdoors. The inverter is not having a screen but it does have LED lights to check the health of the inverter. If the inverter is working properly or if there's any alert on the inverter or warning or a communication disturbance can easily be identified by just looking at the LEDs on the inverter. The inverter has a nice uh, external cabinet for the AC wiring which is easy. You can just open these doors and then do your AC wiring on the sides. Getting into the technicals of the inverter, it's a 1500 volt inverter, it's a string inverter. What do you expect more out of this? The voltage of the inverter is 800 volt. That is the output of the inverter comes in 800 volt which naturally is going to reduce the output cable sizing because more voltage becomes less current. The inverter works at 185 kilowatt at 25 degrees Celsius and when temperature increases the firmware of the inverter is smart to reduce its performance. The reduce, reduction in performance is happening because when high temperature hits the inverter, the inverter components are um, subjected to fail. So when temperature increases 35 degree, then the inverter starts working as a 160 kilowatt inverter to save itself. Apart from that, the inverter's voltage range of working is from 500 volt to 1500 volt. That's a pretty wide range, I should say, because for a 1500 volt system, 500 volt can be easily achieved. And talking about the DC connections, the inverter has 9 MPPTs with 2 string inputs each. That is, you can give 18 strings as input to the inverter. And the maximum current that can be given to each MPPT is about 27 amperes. So when you say the inverter can be oversized 50 percentage, you can actually load more, more to the 185 to make this inverter perform better depending on which geographical location you are. Coming to the AC side of the inverter, the, as I said, the voltage of the inverter is 800 volt, so you can easily handle it with a 120 square mm or a 150 square mm cable, more than enough depending on the distance that you are going to run the cable. Apart from that, this cable also carries communication signal. Have you heard of uh, PLC, Power Line Communication? This inverter does not need a CAT6 cable for its communication. It communicates to the data logger through its power line itself, PLC. So at site, you don't have to worry about running a CAT6 cable to make the inverter communicate to your data logger or your SCADA system. There is no need for a SCADA system. Huawei experts in communications have made this inverter communicate through its AC cable itself. We are looking at the bottom of the inverter where we see the 9 MPPTs with 2 strings each. What is shown here is 18 strings, 18 inputs to the inverter and there are 3 DC breakers given to this inverter. That's because every 3 MPPT is divided into a set. This is the first set of 3 MPPT, second set and third set. When there is an issue with one of your strings, then you don't have to shut down the entire unit. You can simply shut down that particular set of panels and start working on that string. Apart from this, the inverter is fuseless design. Since each MPPT has only 2 strings, there is absolutely no need for a fuse. And the inverter also has a DC SPD protection and a AC SPD protection inbuilt. So DC, AC, type 2 SPDs are inbuilt in this inverter. The key advantages of using this inverter at your site will be that this inverter comes with a fuseless design. Absolutely no headache of changing fuses, middle of the production. There is no fan required. Um, the first component to fail in your inverter will be a fan and this inverter requires no fan for its cooling. 
thirdly you will be reducing your cost of BOS balance of systems because it's a 800 volt inverter and as I said the cable sizing involved in this installation will be very small you don't need a DC combiner box there is uh, no combiner box required the inverter comes with 9 MPPTs and 18 strings directly fed into the inverter so no combiner box required and you don't have to worry about the communication part end of the day when the inverter is installed in a megawatt plant 8 to 10 inverters across 7 to 10 acres of land you don't have to worry about the communication because the communication is happening through the power line itself i was talking to you about the power line communication which is um, injected in this inverter so the power cable carries the communication signal so there is absolutely no chance of losing communication it's easy to install wall mountable and less in weight which gives it a upper hand over all the other string inverters on utility scale thank you